presenting today. I'm a little nervous, but not as nervous as I was last year. Because I realized that 10 minutes doesn't really dictate how much I know the information, doesn't change my career goals, doesn't change how competent I am. And if anyone's presenting, just know that this too shall pass and it's okay. Also, I love my badge, it's so cute. I'm just walking to my presentation site. It's not far, so yeah. and I have about three hours until my presentation I want to spend just one hour practicing I don't want to overdo it and I want to also refresh my memory about the background information so I'm gonna read a paper and I have a lot of work and homework and stuff to do so hopefully I can get that done too and calm my nerves so I found a room next to the room that I'm gonna be presenting in it looks very sim it <laughs> looks very similar to the room that I'll be presenting in so I just wanted to get the feel of it to see like how many people how many chairs it's a large room y'all but I got this it's a large room this is how many people will be attending my presentation if the rooms are similar I think they are um, that's where you sit and where you'll be presenting and then this is the screen and yeah that was my first run through i had about 40 seconds left and i know that like once i present in front of a crowd i'm gonna start rushing and everything so just naturally just because i'm like you just naturally rush when you're presenting in front of a crowd so i'm gonna try to slow down just a tad so i don't have too much time left and i kept on fumbling on some words that i should know so like pronunciation of them so i'm gonna work on that so take two take two went a little better i used the presenter view this time so i could see like exactly what i wrote in the sub note for like this one slide but i still feel like i'm tripping over regular words and i just need to calm down i'm gonna read the rubric again to see what i need to highlight like what words to trigger certain points that i would like to get and just see what i can do i really only wanted to run through this three times so i want to make the third time the best time possible if it means i have to take a little more time to prepare then okay i'm also really hungry and have an apple but i don't want to eat it now because i want to eat it before i go but i don't want to leave the building if you are watching this video and you plan on presenting at abercams i really recommend printing the rubric that they email to you like probably at the beginning of the acceptance because it's really helpful so you can be the best presenter in the world but if you don't follow the rubrics you lose points right so that's why i have this here and this is the background information that i'm going to like skim over um, from the previous study for like just in case anyone has any questions i'm well familiar i just like as a refresher so i'm gonna look over this I'm gonna look over this now like I would like all fives in a perfect world so I'm gonna see what they want oh well, this is where I am you can see the lovely palm trees I'm just like in a random hallway I present down the hall um, I've got my backpack and papers my presentation on a flash drive and just like the timer so as you can see the last session was 9 minutes and 42 seconds and I have a 10 minute um, thing and I'm just here I have some water so yeah just waiting patiently and they were anonymous the paper questionnaires were facilitated by the director of non communicable diseases at the Western Regional Health Authority and we gave every healthcare provider a one week turnaround time we traveled across the four parishes of Western Jamaica. The healthcare providers that we gave the questionnaires to came from both the public and private sector. We administered questionnaires to 600 healthcare providers. As you can see, they're listed here. The criteria that we had is that they must work 
in clinics that care for patients who have type 2 diabetes and hypertension and it must be in the four parishes that are under the Western Regional Health Authority. Results. Hey guys, I just finished my presentation. Uh, my phone might die, so let's see how much we have here. But basically, the, all five of us presented. The judges sat us down um, afterwards and told us like we were all phenomenal and everything and gave us like feedback. And that was really great. I was definitely very nervous in the end. And one judge said she noticed that and but that she saw that I powered through because I got at the end of the day I'm a fighter you can't you can't control how much nerves you get they control you can control how you react to it so I'm so happy it's over I can finally relax yo like relax I actually have a Truman app to do but still like you can, I can relax and everything and I'm so grateful for this opportunity everyone I met was amazing I should have given them all my contact information I gave the the docs some things but yeah so basically it was 10 minutes of us presenting five minutes for questions and then that continued for about five people so yeah I'm happy it's over um yeah bye I'm so happy, I'm so excited. There were like approximately 2,500 students who presented and about 350 students who got uh, an award. And it's also monetary, so I'm like super excited. And I'm so happy that you all watched this journey. And if you learned anything from any of the tips, I'm gonna say it like, just go back. Uh, my email is down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and yes 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 ah bye